Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons. To alert you when to use caution. To replace the blower motor on your furnace. First turn off the power to the furnace. Next, rotate the knobs securing the blower chamber panel and pull the panel off. Now loosen the screws to release the humidifier wires, if applicable. Note the orientation of the thermostat wires, then loosen the screws to detach them. Now cut the control board wire harness tie. Remove the screws securing the blower assembly support bracket. And carefully slide the assembly out. Note the orientation of the motor wires on the control board, then disconnect them. Now disconnect the wires from the run capacitor. Remove the screw to release the motor grounding wire, and set the run capacitor aside. Use a wrench to loosen the set screw to release the blower wheel from the motor shaft. Rotate the assembly and use a 3 8 inch socket to remove the screws securing the blower motor mounting bracket. Pull the motor and bracket off. Mark where the old motor is positioned on the bracket. Now loosen the bolts on the side of the bracket and remove the old motor. You're now ready to install the new blower motor. Properly position the new motor in the mounting bracket. Tighten the bolts to secure. Insert the motor shaft into the center of the blower wheel and align the mounting bracket on the blower wheel housing. Replace the mounting screws to secure. Center the blower wheel in the housing, making sure the flat side of the motor shaft aligns with the set screw. Now tighten the screw. Reposition the run capacitor in the support strap. Align the new motor grounding wire and secure with the screw. Connect the appropriate wires to the capacitor. These are usually brown. Connect the remaining motor wires to the appropriate terminals on the control board. Use a zip tie to remove any slack in the motor wires. Now align the blower assembly on the support rails and slide it into position. Replace the screws to secure the support bracket. Use a zip tie to remove any slack in the control board wires. Reconnect the thermostat wires and tighten the screws to secure. Reconnect the humidifier wires, if applicable, and tighten the screws.
Reposition the blower chamber panel and rotate the knobs to secure. You're now ready to restore power to the furnace and confirm that it's functioning properly.